hour flight with a four or five hour time difference. So we're going to miss out about, we're going to lose about 10 hours of the day. We're landing at like 11 o'clock at night. Look at this badass plane. Yes. supercars or there should be supercars everywhere so I'm keeping my eyes peeled and I'm car spotting I don't think all the time. every car in Dubai is supercar why not <laughs> I didn't do it we're trying to get these cool little blue lights on the screen nope Alcantara steering wheel woohoo Look at the digital display. This is cool. That's cool. We've got aircon. Aircon. Oh, this feels so good. I'm even going to shut my door so that it gets cooler. I can hear an adventure. Oh, there oh there's the adventure over there. No one uh, probably see that. Unless... It's our first proper supercar. Yeah. Dude, what are you doing? Surely go down there. Surely not. There's a McLaren down there. GCR over there. GTR rubbish. I'm so bad at filming, but there was a GTR and a McLaren down there, and ours is difficult, and we've ended up at the same place we were oh, 10 minutes ago. That. There are our cars, and now we're going in the lift. We have finally made it. Oh, it's been a long day. We've we've lost we've lost four hours. But look at this. I bet this is a cool angle. In the shot in the mirror. It's so amazing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> This is where we're going to be staying for seven days. I uh, found another light. Whoa! Oh, oh, cool! Oh, yeah. This is cool. cool. Camera section. Well, whoa, whoa, this is massive. Our first full day here in Dubai, and we have stumbled across a Ferrari owner's meet and drive out. So, what better way to start our Friday in Dubai? with a ton of Ferrari. So let's check them all out and then get them all driving off. What a beautiful day to have so many Ferraris here. And Azuro Dino's F40 has just showed up. Wow. The colors of these cars is stunning. I don't think my camera's gonna pick this color up, but it is beautiful. And a matching F40.
So we have arrived at location number two and we're filming all of the cars arriving at the gates and there's a great convoy of Ferraris coming in. So we have the Veyron. We've got some insane gardens over here. Very nice house over there. And the Ferrari Owners Club. are back and this is our apartment block all the way out there so our apartment literally stretches across the whole of that yeah wow <laughs> we have literally walked the entire length of the shopping centre to come to the valet parking. There's an event at all. Well, let's start over here. Nice. Very nice. The McLaren edition. R8 and AMG TF edition one. What a beast. It's actually quite poorly. It's got the aero kit, a bit of a spoiler on the back, which looks cool. But this is now Sam reversing the CTS V into the car. It's got an awesome rumble. This V8 is incredible. So, yeah, successful ish trip. I now have a new phone and I'm now tethering off that phone with a personal hotspot so that I can use my iPhone away from Wi-Fi spots. Weird, but... Good morning, it is a Saturday here in Dubai and it is F1 weekend. I'm so excited, we're gonna be heading down to the qualifying this afternoon, which is at 5 p.m., which is 1 p.m. back in the UK. Feeling quite tired because I woke up about 10 a.m., which, again, four hours behind. It's very early in the UK. I just woke up to Lamborghinis and Aventador, um, came and parked underneath that swimming pool. Oh, it smells like fast food down here. It does. It smells really nice. Oh, look, there's the Aventador. <laughs> look at the interior. That is madness. We saw this one cruising. It is very loud. Tim, you're rubbish I think you should give up, Tim. Oh, oh, oh. Lack of bars. They are going to be running in this car, oh, we're in No, we're not, we're not in a rush at all. We 
made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. The Holy Trinity is complete! <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> Doing that seven minute workout inside. Really? Yeah. Right, I'm here with the C's 500 flowers. Got GP2 in the background, very loud, but yeah. There is an F12, V12 Vantage, and a 650S there with an R8 V10. We've got a 488 here, and an LFA. Oh my god. It's only 10 a.m. but it is very, very hot. So Tim and Sam are doing everything that they can to stay out of the sun. Because apparently their, their skin burns easily so they've got waterproof Factor 50 sun cream on. And Seb being Seb, oh no I need to make these lights. Seb being Seb, li living in the south of France, is fine. And um, you're probably going to see me as red as a lobster at the end of the day but I'm excited for this water park I've seen a couple of the slides I'm a big kid when it comes to water and water parks who isn't? No, I'm not a writer Okay
far the best ride here was Poseidon's Revenge. Basically, you stand in an upright position, cross your arms and legs, and then the floor is removed and you just fire straight down. It is a serious acceleration. Yeah, I'm on my way. Dubai Cardrome and I tell you what this is the most craziest go-karting center I have ever been to so we're now waiting on Tim and Sam and then we're gonna be getting in there putting our helmets on and going for a drive and the last time we did it was in Italy just outside of Monaco and Seb wiped the floor of all of us because he's the size of a stone So it is our final day of Dubai and me and Sam have decided to go exploring because we feel that we haven't seen enough or really any of yeah, Dubai. Yeah, it's both our first time here and we've yeah. basically been in the apartment or Abu Dhabi. Yeah, so we are now going to go and explore the beach, try and find some pretty cool buildings um, and just see what we can see basically. So I'm going to point the camera around and uh, probably do most of it point of view. Take inspiration from this guy. Point of view? Looks like it's falling out of the sky. I hope it's supposed to be doing that. I think it is. Whoa. Yeah. Really? What? Um. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. We're touching down on the sand and you come to Dubai for the beautiful backdrops. Uh, Today we have been split up. It is me and Sam versus Seb and Tim. We are going car spotting. Find some food. <laughs> this could take a while. <laughs> this is massive, and I can see this dark blue thing here. Um, it's probably owned by Shmi, but it's actually an aquarium inside a shopping centre. I've already made that joke. I already made the joke that he bought the tank at the water park. But let's have, let, let's go and check it out because I mean, how many shopping centres have you got? 
it's a massive, oh, massive shark tank. So we're eating in the rainforest cafe. Oh, there's a snake. Very bright. And we found it. This looks awesome around here. The water looks so blue. Oh wow. So the room has been pretty much emptied. I've got all of the travel stuff here, my passport in there and that bag, and then the suitcase. I'm gonna leave all of this stuff here and just dump it in the bin. Now one thing that I always do when I travel is I never worry about the deodorants and all of the stuff that you have to put in plastic bags in your hand luggage. Um, it's always just hassle. So I just go through security and then buy it there and then just leave it here. So then when I go back, I've still got all of the stuff that I would I normally have at home. I've got my deodorant there, which is staying there, and then sun cream, hairspray, hair gel, and toothpaste. Because every time you go through, you have to just stop, empty everything out of the bag. I'm not organized enough to put it in plastic bags before I leave the house, so I just leave all of my stuff at home, buy stuff through security and then leave it here so that when I go back home I've still got all of my normal bits and pieces so that's as proactive as it gets when I travel it's just an easier and less stressful way of traveling and going through the airport security so here we eat this your seat no <laughs> and we have all got our bags and it is time to say goodbye to these idiots. Everyone turn around and say goodbye really emotionally to the video camera. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, that is the Dubai movie. I thought that it'd be a pretty cool idea to vlog throughout the whole entire trip but make separate videos so that you guys had the daily videos to watch but then also an epic video to watch at the end of all of this experience because Dubai has been an unbelievable trip. So huge thank you to Sam, Seb and Tim for making it enjoyable and also putting up with me in the apartment and everywhere that we went. But also thank you to Seas 500 who put up amazing hospitality for the Formula One weekend. We're going to be seeing a lot more of them both in Monaco and probably Abu Dhabi next year which I cannot wait for. Now if you head over to the Six Tribes app which is available on iPhone, um, I'm over there doing an exclusive q and right now at 6pm on Sunday the 6th of December if you are watching this a little bit further in advance. But anyway, um, all of the links are in the description for the Six Tribes app so I look forward to seeing you over there. We're going to be discussing vehicle wraps, modifications to the Lamborghini and a lot more. Next week there is going to be some insane videos coming. Not only am I going to be modifying my car, I'm also going to be handed the keys to some pretty cool cars and I can't wait to drive them and get behind the wheel and start getting more and more experience of doing car reviews, which I'm very excited about. So thank you for watching and thank you for getting to this far at the end of the video, which um, is an achievement in itself. I hope you have enjoyed not only the videos that I produced out in Monaco, I mean Dubai. <laughs> but also the Dubai movie. So thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up as well. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon um, with the build up to Christmas coming in. So uh, see you tomorrow, guys. Ooh.